But you, you raised something <laughs> important here, which is also the... <laughs> you look at uh, the law of defamation, for example. Mm. I, <laughs> there's, there's a defense, which is truth. I, to what extent is reputational damage insurable against in the scenario where it's untrue versus mm. when it's kind of based on fact, right? Yeah. Like uh, people are buying our products because they think they break all the time. Do they break all the time? Yeah. <laughs> you know, or like yeah. uh, people have accused us of very publicly of this thing. And it's like, well, is it true? Is it? Well, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like how can you ensure or to what extent can you ensure against? I think I think I may have seen actually some of the wordings they talked about. I pre-crisis and post-crisis mm -hmm. and it is it reminds me of another form of insurance actually that uh, the the legal uh, expenses type insurances oh yeah where there's like a you can buy legal protection pre somebody suing you yeah in which case it's like just in case somebody sues you and you can also buy it like somebody's just told me they're going to sue me yep. and the costs could yeah. be huge We've but been we don't know now. Yeah, yeah. yeah which is then like after the event kind of yep. insurance instead but uh yeah, I presume that must be similar reputation and no yeah. damage wise, right? Like you have to, it has to be fortuitous. Yeah. You know, there has to be an unexpected thing that we can both gamble on, probably not happy, happening, but just in case it does. But if yeah. you go in with a, we know that this is a problem already, we think it could cause us damage, we just don't know how much damage, then it's much more of an after the event yeah. uh, kind of coverage, I guess. Yeah. 